all right welcome back now before we build our web app right before we build our web app like this let's first deal with the data set right so we're going to do some exploratory data analysis then we build our model then after that we will go to um our id in this case we're going to use pycharm but you can use any id that you want right you can use um even test the data that you that you, if you prefer right you can also use that one i'm going to show you how to do that so we don't need to worry so at first let's first start with um the data set that we're going to deal with and then uh, we walk through step by step okay so this is a data set that has been collected and uh, it has been made available on the cargo platform so if you go to cargo and you search for the zomato data set you're going to get it okay and uh, this data is actually um is specifically for the bangalore area right specifically for bangalore area and that's what you're going to um deal with so zomato is connected with some of the restaurants in bangalore area so um, we're going to actually um We'll concern ourselves with those restaurants over there and then make our analysis all right so um i've given you enough information here that you can actually um get yourself familiar with um in this data okay so i'll i'll make this notebook also available so that you can actually um get access to it and then practice along all right so the most important thing here is to actually do a disparity data analysis. That's that's the main thing that we're going to do. We're actually going to perform um, exploratory data analysis, right? We're going to perform EDA. Then after that, we will build our machine learning model, right? We build our machine learning model, and then we will deploy this machine learning model using the Flask. Okay, using Flask. That's what you actually at the end of the day you're going to see something. All right. So let's get started with this. I mean, the first thing that we need to do is to import. The necessary libraries as we've been doing throughout our 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 i mean our projects right for, right from the um our previous projects when we've been doing this okay so the first thing that you need to do is to import the various libraries and that's what um we're doing here so the libraries that we're going to need are these um small libraries right so you can just easily import them or you can easily import them and i hope you're familiar with i mean all, all these maybe um, I think I think almost all of them with the likes of pandas, numpy, maplotlib, um, plotly, seaborn, um, logistic regression. So we will be building these um, algorithms, so like logistic regression and linear regression. We also will be doing uh, one more thing. Uh, we will also be doing one more. So let me even add it here from sklearn, right? From sklearn dot. Uh, let me actually get it from down here. We will build one more, one more algorithm apart from the logistic and linear regression. So, let me actually get it so that um, we will move on with that. Yeah, extra tree. So we're going to do this too, right? So um, I can even bring it up here, or just just leave it, right? So whether you bring it up here or you do it down there, so I mean both of them will work fine, right? So let me just bring it here. All right, so this, these three algorithms are the ones that we're going to use, right? So logistic regression, linear regression, and then extra tree um, regressor, right? So extra tree regressor is the other, other one that we're going to add, right? And then uh, we're going to use our train test split to split our data into training and then test, right? Uh, there are some, some warnings that um, we will be getting. I mean, in the, in the notebook, we don't actually want to get those. So we imported the warning to ignore that, all right? And then we have our matplotlib in line which will help us to ignore i mean which will help us to um, be able to plot all those um, visualizations in, inside our 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 notebook all right so these are these are the libraries that we're going to use and uh, i mean with regards to to google collapse you need to connect your drive or mount your drive so that's that's what i'm doing over here right from google.collab we are going to import um drive and then we mount it all right so basically that's what you're doing i'm sure these these steps are something you're familiar with right as as you've been using collapse all this all right so now um, we're going to load our data set right so I, as i said this data set is actually available on uh, on the cargo platform and i also load it on the platform for you so that you can actually have access to it for easy access all right so that's that's what i'm doing here i will load the data the data set using pd dot um read underscore csv since um we have a CSV file here. Okay, and then I will store in a variable called the data. All right, so having done that, let's see the head of it. So that is the first five rows, right? So the first five records over here. So you can see that we have um, we have URL, we have address, we have name, online order, we have book table, we have rate, we have votes, we have phone, location, race type, um, dish, right? We have the dish, dish liked, 
And then we have cuisines, we have approximate cost for two people. We have reviews list, we have menu item listed in type, we have listed in the city. Okay, so these are the, fe um, the features that we have. Let's, let's see um, the definition of these features and what they mean. So the URL contains the URL of the restaurant in the Zomato website, right? So that's, that's the, um, where, where exactly we can locate these, these, um, these restaurants on the Zomato website, right? So that particular URL is what, what we have over here, right? That's the URL that you can see over here. And then um, the next one, which is the address, which, is, which contains the address of the restaurant in, Benga, in Bengaluru or Beng, uh, Bangalore in, 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 in the modern times, okay? And then also the name, that's the name of the restaurant. And then online order, right? Whether or, um, the restaurant offer uh, online or, or online delivery or not, right? Which, I mean, whether it allows people to order online or not, okay? And then we have book table, right? Um, that is, that is um, table book option available or not. So that's whether the restaurant allow table booking or not. And then we also have the rate. That's the rate that um, these, these customers will give to the various restaurants. Right. And this, this is ranging from say zero to five. And then we have the votes, which contains total number of ratings for the um, restaurant as of the uh, above mentioned date. Right. So we, we, will see, we will see all these in action as, as we progress. Okay. Then we have the phone, which contains the phone number of the restaurant. We have the location, which, is, which contains the neighborhood which the restaurant is located. And then we have the rest type, which is um, the restaurant type. And then the dish like which is um, the, the dish that people like the most. And um, we have the cuisines, right? The food styles, all right? And uh, these are comma-separated um, um, comma separated um, data that we have over here, right? And then we have the approximate cost for two people, which contains the approximate cost for meal, I mean, of, of, of meal for two people over here, right? So uh, I think maybe this one, I just change it, right? So. Um, Approximate cost, right? Contains the approximate cost for approximate cost of meal, right? Cost of meal for two for two people, right? And then we have the reviews list, which contains um, the reviews of the restaurant, and then we have the menu items, of course, for I mean, containing the list of the various menus that the restaurants are having, right? And then we have the listed in type, which is the type of meal, and then. Um, they're listed in, in city, which contains the neighborhood in which the restaurant is actually listed. Okay, so these are the features that we have, right? These are the features that we have over here. And uh, these are the features that we're going to base on to make, um, to make, make these, these predictions of the various restaurants.